Hey, what's up, y'all? So, today is the day before the storm. All right, so today is the day I bring my stuff back to the barbershop. Crazy thing is I haven't got my clippers back yet, but I had like a couple extra, you know, sitting in the stash. So I'll be cutting with some brand new clippers on my first day back cutting hair. Um, this has been a process. It's been a long awaited day. Um, I got mixed emotions. I'm gonna be happy to see my clients and my customers and my friends, but I don't feel like uh, the world or I don't feel like we are prepared enough for this situation. I definitely don't want to take the first vaccine, but I don't know, man. I don't think they're doing the, I don't think this is right. You got you ever had a feeling we don't think is right, but we're here and we got stuff to do. We got people to take care of. And hey, little did I know I signed up for this. And for me, it's just like, I, I want to be more cautious because I got married on January 4th and the day of my wedding, I had bronchitis like for that day and the day prior. And I went to the emergency room the night of my wedding. Still paying those medical bills, by the way. But yeah, man, you got to be careful about your health. You can't make any money if you sick, you feel me? So for all you people that was rushing to get back to work, just be mindful of that. You can't make any money if you sick. You don't probably use a lot of sick days if you're working for a company and or whatever, or you might not have a job or whatever, man, but you gotta be safe, like as safe as possible. And I don't feel like uh, we're prepared enough to really, uh, as a whole, I don't feel like we're prepared enough to deal with this COVID situation. But anyway, we gotta do what we gotta do. And um, it's time to make this money. Business is open up. We don't have any more excuses of why we need to stay home because the governor and other people say, hey, it's time to go back to work, so let's do it. This is gonna be fun, putting all my stuff back in the station. And the thing is, I'm not gonna do that. Um, even here, like I'm deciding to make sure that we uh, do things properly or even better than we did and stay clean. So I don't wanna put just all my tools and things back. Look, the phone's ringing already. <laughs> I, better, I should answer that, right? I'm doing everything. I've, I haven't just, I've enjoyed my time off, but I ain't been just laying around doing nothing. I've been learning bass guitar. I've been taking insurance classes. I've been doing some crazy photography. Shout out Whiskey in the Wild. Um, been enjoying my wife, brand new. You know, it's, we're in our first year. Budgeting. I've been doing just so much cool shit and just amazing stuff that, ah, it felt hard just to leave it, you know? So while I was off, man, knowing that we was coming back to work, I decided to go ahead and really spend some money on some, some things I know that we can benefit from. And it's gonna make us, you know, just keep us safe as possible and our customers safe. So here's a, like a collection of combs I've had and brushes I've had already that's brand new. Uh, we're gonna start using those, these, all right? There's no thing to do nothing for me sitting in the basket, right? And there's some pretty nice combs, some expensive combs. Actually, you tell me anything over five dollars for a piece of plastic or whatever it is, is expensive. Then I got a whole box full of guards I've never used. I purchased like 10 more sets of guards. I got capes coming. I got so much stuff that's gonna help us stay clean. Oh, uh, razor blade holders, just a lot of different stuff, man. Just to try to make sure that we stay clean in here and stay sanitized and disinfected, right? Even bought some UV lights so we can get to the sterilization point. Uh, but, you know, we're not a hospital and this is not a, like a really controlled room. That's like a sterile room. So we can do the most we can as much as possible anyway. It might not be 99.9%, .9%, but I feel like 90% is better than nothing, you know? Or even if it was 50% sterile, it's better than nothing. And for y'all that don't know, our board, barber boards don't require you to be sterile. They require you to disinfect stuff. So the more you know, the better you'll be equipped. I even bought this thingamajig here. And I'll try to put some of this stuff in the description below. But this is a, this is a steam cleaner, all right? I'll try to put the description below. 
I haven't opened it up. Well, I opened it, but I ain't pulled it out. Hey, yo. But I got that to clean off every chair, every station, every door handle, knob, whatever people touch, shampoo bowl, whatever. I got that to clean that off. So, hey, I try to put that down there. And I'm gonna be honest, yo, if you're a single barber, like you in this game by yourself, you're doing booth rent, or you got a suite, these things cost money. You gotta have to generate some money to be able to get this stuff, man. See me, the money I make from my barbershop, I put back in my barbershop. You don't see me driving the fanciest car. My house already had it before I got a barbershop and I ain't dug that out yet. Um, what else? I go on trips sometimes. Most of my trips though are paid trips where I go teach stuff around the country and I make money there. Uh, YouTube paid me and that goes to my barber shop because I like to talk about barber stuff. I want to invest. So it's just, hey look, man, I do what I do and I invest in my people, all right? And things around here go look so different. It's going to be weird. Like this is the bar area, as you can tell in the front desk. I removed all the bar stools. I got lounge chairs back there. I have some chairs up here. Everything got to get removed so we can do what we supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna have nobody in here sitting down chilling anyway. If you in here, you getting a haircut or whatever other services we provide. Hey, y'all see this crazy stuff I got on? It's necessary, it's what we gotta do right now. It's a rainy day at the shop and it's been like, it's been like five days we've been open now. And it still just don't feel right, man. Like, none of this feel right. Got the COVID stuff posted over the joint. This is the front door. This is the exit door now because we gotta be careful with everybody coming in. We gotta send everybody through the back door. We gotta take the temperature test. Temperature test with the gun. We gotta make sure they wash their hands. We gotta make sure they got a mask on at all times. And it just doesn't feel comfortable, man. I know, like, for at least for my customers that I cut regularly, I have to trust that they don't come in with symptoms. But even with this, this, this is virus, you can have without having symptoms, so it's still scary. It's like, <laughs> I tell people all the time, it's like having sex with somebody unprotected that you ain't had sex with in a while. Like, y'all got feelings for each other, y'all like each, each other, and like two months went by and y'all about to have sex unprotected. And you're looking at that person like, you good? Cause I'm good. You good? That's that's what cutting half feel like right now, man. I do enjoy cutting and seeing my people make sure they focus on me. I do enjoy cutting and I do enjoy my people, but I'm spending 20 to 30 minutes between every haircut, making sure tools are clean, making sure, that's something we always done, but changing every guard every time. And I got like 10 sets of guards, 10 sets of razor, like razor holders, not razor blades. I change those every time, but razor holders. Gotta wipe down the chair, wipe down everything that you touch, every bottle, every piece of product you use, shampoo bowl, everything you gotta wipe down. You gotta wipe down every doorknob, every sink. It's just a lot, man. The mirrors, you gotta clean those often. You forget that sometimes. It's just, I don't know, man. I forget to put gloves on sometimes. 
Oh, they ripped. Did you get scared? Got the mask. I got the goggles. It's a lot, bro. I wish it wasn't like this, but it is, and we're just dealing with it. And I'm not making this video trying to complain and say I'm like giving up anything. I'm just making this video because it's a lot. And this is not the only industry that has changed. There's a lot of industries out now that's having to do things a lot different and take extra, extra precaution. And for consumers, some consumers won't understand why you have to take your prices up. They don't want to understand that you had to spend a couple grand on new equipment and protect to protect the gear to help protect them and yourself. But everybody won't understand. But people that's in business understand, man, when you moving less product or you're doing less services and it's costing you more to do those services or to push that product, you gotta take your, your prices up. We're not in business to break even. You're in business to make profit. And if anybody complain about your prices, hey, and, but you know what you're providing them, kick them to the curb. Let, get, hurry up and get them out of the way so you can get those people that's willing to uh, spend money on things that, that matter to them, you know, especially your business. If you're providing excellent service and a safe service, Move those, move those penny pinches on out the way and get those people that's ready to spend and they value what you do. Let me get back in here and get back to work, y'all.